What's going on, viewers and sub? I'm going to just jump into it. Um, yet again, another disappointing result for the reggae boys at home. Um, the reggae boys lost to Mexico 2-1 to one. Um, in the 80 minute. The Mexicans equalized in the game. The Mexican went up. Um, the reggae boys plan didn't really work the way they want it. Um, I see like they was trying to play a, a little possession and trying to press the Mexicans, but for some reason that wasn't working out. Um, it seems like they were trying to get the ball to Antonio a lot, but the type of the type of um movement of the ball and a certain way how they could can give um Antonio the ball. He wasn't getting those type of services that he wanted. So they had to take him out of the game late, even though his effort um sort of helped the first goal that Jamaica went up that um um DJ had um score. I think this off a deflection from across. Even um, Ethan Pinnock had something to do with that too. He was, I think, he shielded the ball away from the from the Mexican um, defense, to clear the ball away, and um, Daniel Johnson put it in the back of the net. It's almost like a, like it came off a rebound in the eighteen yard somewhere around there. But yeah, overall, like I said, um, it didn't work out for the reggae boys. Um, I guess a certain type of way that Pollard wanted them to play, it wasn't really working out for the reggae boys. I could see it because if you look at the Peru game and the movements of the ball in the Peru game, it wasn't really the same here. You didn't translate here with these group of guys um, that Pollard called up for the team. Um, as far as um, possession-wise, Jamaica did really poor when it comes to the possession, they only had 35 possession, 35 percent possession and throughout the whole game. Mexico pretty much dominated the, the match as far as possession. Mexico had the ball actually most of the time throughout the whole game. Even in the late, late in the game, um, when Jamaica get the ball, they didn't try to hold the ball and let the Mexican even try to foul them. You know, they get the ball. They give away back the ball to the Mexicans so the Mexicans could try to attack. But after a while, you know, the defense is just going to hold up for like, because they're already down in the game, 10 men. So it's going to only hold up for a certain amount of time. But I feel if they had, um, you know, maybe if they had made a better call when they subbed out um, Javin Brown under the game, they... They should have bring in like somebody like Mariapa, but I don't know why, but Paul Hall um going ahead and bring in um Alvis Powell. And Alvis Powell is not too good on marking players and so on. So I guess the Mexicans realized that and you know they started pressure his hand at the field, and that's how they end up score another goal after they equalize but that's football that's how it is you know so guys hit me up in the comment section let me know what you guys think about the match and what jamaica could have do different to secure the three points um yeah hit me up and let me know um subscribe like share this is just a short one you know because jamaica didn't really do too much to talk about so yeah, like I said, just hit me up in the comment section. And like I said, subscribe, like, share, and I'm out. Baller kick 90.